Hey guys, it's your boy Mr. Mike HD here, back again with another video boys, we've got another player review, this time we're going to be reviewing the Atalanta striker Josip Ilicic, who's got a 94 rated team of the season, one of the highest rated team of the seasons in the Serie A. Before we get into the video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, put notification on, notifications on. I did release a Joaquin Correa team of the season player review, so go check it out if you haven't already. And yeah, just go check out my recent videos, I'll be much appreciated. I try to hit 5k subs as as soon as possible so if you guys could help us out that would mean the absolute world i've been working my ass off i've literally been grinding so you guys go show your support by liking commenting and subscribing that would mean the world follow me on my socials the first 10 people to follow me on instagram twitter and snapchat will get a follow back i will be doing a giveaway soon i'll start doing giveaways every now and then on my social so feel free to to follow me there and i also do post when i go live and upload videos because sometimes youtube do, do mess up their notifications so yeah boys let's get straight into this josip ilicic player review obviously 94 rated i believe he's from slovenia yep so 83 pace 95 dribbling 95 shooting 93 passing 80 physical cost me 115,000 coins medium medium work rates free star week for four star skill moves big part in atalanta getting to the champions league was josip ilicic what a beast such a variety of strikers in the Serie A this season, it's absolutely insane. There's so many strikers, and I'll be trying to get as many reviews as possible. Can't blame any other players you guys like me to do reviews on, but yeah, he's got 80 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. His shooting stats look unreal 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 92 volley, 9 uh, 90 finishing. What am I saying? 95 vision, 95 short pass, 99 ball control, 97 dribbling, 93 composure. I don't like his 65 balance. But other than that, his card looks absolutely insane. He's got 81 stamina, 86 strength. This card looks beastly. Hopefully, he's going to be overpowered. But yeah, let's get into the games and let's see how he's going to do. Let's get straight into the clips. Show you guys the clips and I'll get to the analysis. Let's go. Let's roll the clips. Alright, let's see this guy's team. Nice looking team there. And now to Vich, Pedro. Bit of a prem. Slash Thiago Silva because our league on PS3 Kante Pogba. Come on, Ilicic. Brilliant. Take a shot. Brilliant save by the keeper there, but brilliant. Come on, Ilicic. Aerial threat. Straight at the keeper. Come on, Elisic. That is a finish of a striker. Goal machine. Come on. Brilliant. Tight angle. Still puts it in the back of the net. What a goal by Josip Ilicic. Pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. What a finish. No chance for the keeper. Let's go. Come back. Mancini. Brilliant. Okay, at Ilicic. Oh, what a turn. Josip Ilicic. Oh, should have been a goal. Brilliant ball there to Sarabia. Sarabia. Ilicic. Okay, at Back to Ilicic. Okay, at Brilliant. Lazari. Oh, that's a ball to Ilicic. Oh man, got to be doing better there. Let's go boys, second game, come on. We've got Inform Zapata, Inform Suso there, Fabian. He needs to update to his team of the season, but really nice looking team there. Let's go. Not messing around here. We get this double. Lazari. Ilicic. Brilliant. Back again. Gotta be finishing that. Come on, Ceballos. 
Lazari, come on. What save? It's a goal, boys. Illicit in the right place at the right time. Slots it in. That's what I'm talking about. Lazari takes a shot. Good save by Chesney, I believe. Full for Illicic, who just taps it in. Come on, boys. 1 1. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Illicic. Why is he getting our muscle by screen here? Lazari, Ilicic. Oh, he wins the rebound. Take a shot. Oh, foul. Okay. Ilicic. Oh man. Good ball there. Let's go! What a finish by Josip Ilicic. Come on. Brilliant pass there. Brilliant mark. He passed to Sarabi. Pass it back to him. Slots in. No charm. Woof. Lads, welcome to the analysis bit of this video for the Josip Ilicic player review. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not sure. Team of the season. 94 rated. We played him with him. Two games. He got us three goals. 83 pace. He's got 95 dribbling. 95 shooting. 93 passing. 80 physical. Also from the Serie A, Atalanta, so he gets that perfect link to Gomez from Slovenia, which doesn't give him the best of links. Like if you're not going to go Serie A, it's pretty hard to use him. I don't think. Let's quickly check. I don't. I doubt there's any Slovenians out there, like quality ones up front. Uh, let's quickly check. I know there's Oblak, Handanovic, but they ain't go. Slovenia. Let's put forward. No, the next highest rate is Berich. What about midfielder? Oh, they got Campbell to be fair. You could technically link it with Campbell and Icon maybe. But yeah, let's go back to him. Let's get back on track. Josip Elisic. Let's go through the pros, the cons, ratings, opinions, all of that good stuff. Let's get straight into it, boys. He's got 80 pace, 84 sprint speed. He fell pretty fast. Not the fastest striker out there, but nowhere close to being the slowest. His pace does the job pretty good. He pretty much outpaces most defenders. Most defenders are not over 83 pace, so it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It does the job. Let's get into shooting. By far the best stat of this card. Obviously 92 attack position, 90 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 92 volleys, 90 penalties. This guy's always in the right place at the right time. He is an absolute finisher. If I was you guys, I put uh, play instruction as a target man. You could also put him getting behind. It doesn't matter. Either way, he'll put it in the back of the net. Depends what style of play. I put him getting behind, but I feel like he's more adapted. His like characteristics are more adapted to target man. But yeah, boys, this guy, you give him a chance, he'll put it in the back of the net. I'll, every 10 shots inside the box, I'm saying he's going to score around 8, which is a really good output from a striker. Outside the box, his long shots are insane. Take advantage of them. He'll score absolute bangers, boys. When I say bangers, I mean bangers. But yeah, overall, is shooting. By far one of the best strikers I've used shooting wise in the game. He's also got the four star. No, he's got three star weak foot. Sorry, I meant skill moves there. He's got three star weak foot. So if you catch him on his right foot, he can be a bit shaky. But his right foot felt fell perfectly fine. He felt like a four star weak foot. So that's not even a negative in my opinion. Overall, his shooting out of 10, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Next up, boys, we'll get into his passing. So 95 vision, 90 crossing, 97 free kick accuracy, 95 short pass, 86 long pass. His passing felt good. Tiki taka limp, link up play, quick one twos. Especially when he was like shifting to the wide areas, to the wing area, when he was looking for options. Whipping the ball in, quick passing, switch your play. This guy's got it all, boys. He can do it all. You could even play him in the camera and he would do bits. Or even a centre mid. Due to him being so tall as well, six foot three and having medium, medium work rates. If you want, you could technically put him in the centre mid camera. He can play anywhere, boys. He will do a job. He will do a job. His passing, I'm giving it an out of ten and eight. Really good really surprised me for a strike he's got really good passing man unreal next up boys is his dribbling once again by far one of the best stats of this of this card insane man 93 93 reactions 97 dribbling 93 composure most of the times he's dribbling on point the ball is stuck to his feet like super glue you know what i mean 
There will be times where he's going to be feel clum where he's going to feel clumsy. That's the negative of this card, which is his 65 balance. There will be times where he's got the ball under control, and I don't know, man, a little barge, a little touch on him, despite him having the strength and everything, he will feel clumsy, or just a touch on the ball, he will feel clumsy. Sometimes I don't know what it is, but it causes him to lose the ball so just be aware don't take too many touches with him because there will be a moment where he's going to feel clumsy and you're going to lose the ball toward, uh, because of it which can lead to a counter attack and the opposition scoring so just be aware of that don't over you don't abuse it with him don't overdo it i know he's got the full style score moves but don't overdo it next up boys is defending not really well it's not really much we don't really care what i defending let's be honest here his heading accuracy is only 78, but to be fair, he felt good in the air. I know he's only got 41 jump here, but once again, as I did mention, he did feel pretty good in the air, and he seemed to be an aerial threat, so I feel like his jumping should be higher. He's got 81 stamina. He felt fine to last the 90 minutes. Extra time, you might need to sub him off, depends how the game's going, but he will last the 90 minutes fine. So 86 strength, 73 aggression, boys. He will bully any defender off the ball, most defenders off the ball. He was barging Van Dyke, Fabinho's, he was barging them all. Most times, there will be times where he's going to get our muscle, let's be honest here. But most of the times, he was winning most physical battles, which is good. Another positive of this card is the four star skill moves, which makes him unpredictable. It's good to have skill moves, man, especially from tight situations to get out of them using his skill moves. I had so much fun using his skill moves, especially using his physical as well with his skill moves. <laughs> Top notch, man, absolutely insane. But yeah, you could technically use this guy in the center forward camera, literally, camera, center mid, he can do it all, boys. You probably be better in the camera, but as a strike, he got us three goals in two games, which is not a bad output. He's currently going for around 115,000 coins. Out of 10, what I rate? Oh, he went up. He went up. Out of 10, what I rate this card? I'll give it a 7.5. 7.5. I'm not going to say it's the best strike I've used out there. Is he better than Joaquin Correa? A different style of strikers, but I'm saying Correa is better than this Josip Ilicic. Obviously, he's way more expensive. I don't know man, he's he's a good striker, don't get me wrong, but I feel like they're better serious strikers. But for hundred and like thirty thousand quid it's not much better. So I'm giving him a seven point five out of ten. If his balance was better, I'd have given him a nine, hundred percent. But yeah, out of ten, seven point five. Is he for champions ready? A hundred percent. Is he worth it? A hundred percent. hundred and fifteen thousand quid. I don't think you can get much better than that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash the like button, subscribe put notifications on that'll be much appreciated hopefully you guys enjoyed and comment below do you guys want me to do fifa 20 transfer videos fifa 20 predictions comment down below boys. that'll be much appreciated i really need to know if you guys want me to do it comment below any teams you guys want to do want me to do any video ideas you guys have that's going to be it for this video so the support by subscribing we're trying to hit 5k subs as soon as possible but yeah like comment subscribe i'm out see ya adios